Good morning, Utah. Time is currently 546 here on this Monday morning. It's the first day of May and we're going to see those warm temperatures again that we saw yesterday for the most part where we broke a record in Salt Lake by getting to 87 degrees on the satellite and radar. Things are relatively calm. High pressure still in control of our weather. Winds are out of the south and that's why temperatures today are going to be ranging anywhere from 15 to really 25 degrees above our seasonal averages. So your weather headlines today include the near record warmth, blustery winds with those winds out of the south, the ongoing flood concerns, but we will start to see some subtle changes for our Tuesday and Wednesday with bigger changes on the way by the time we get into our Thursday and Friday. We have multiple flood watches, advisories, and even some warnings as well. So in Northeast Nevada, most of Northeast Nevada is covered in a flood watch that continues throughout the next couple of days. We do have a flood advisory for the southern portion of Utah County and northern San Pete County. We also have a flood warning for the Dolores River in Grand County. But as we zoom things in here to northern Utah, we do have the ongoing flood watch, which includes East Canyon Creek, the lower Weber River, Cache Valley, but then we have those ongoing flood warnings that encompass Emigration Creek and also the Little Bear River near Paradise. So the ongoing flood concerns, they will be continuing. So something to keep in mind, especially if you live near those waterways, waterways, excuse me. But when it comes to the runoff this week, streams, creeks and rivers will continue to experience significant rises through this week, especially in the mid elevations and the low elevations. Waterways will be running fast, high, cold and extremely dangerous. High chance of localized flooding this week in mid elevations and keep your distance from those waterways. Avoid slot canyons and make sure that you continue to stay up to date. We'll continue to keep you posted on air, online and through social media as well. As we're starting off the morning, though, as you get ready, getting ready to head out the door, really not seeing too many issues. The view and blending should be an absolutely beautiful sunrise down in southeastern Utah. Very green grass there. Then the view from Deer Valley as we're waiting for this camera to go from black and white to show the full color of the sunrise, but you can see that early sunrise glow. In Logan, we're sitting at 48 degrees. It's 50 degrees right now in Park City, 66 in Salt Lake, 53 degrees in Moab, and we're sitting at 65 degrees currently in St. George. So we have some pretty mild temperatures out there this morning, and it's going to be another very warm day with temperatures that are going to be ranging about 20 degrees above average along the Wasatch Front as most will be climbing into the mid and upper 80s. The record high for today in Salt Lake, 87, forecasting a high of 88, while Park City will top out at 68, 79 degrees in Heber, 82 degrees in Duchesne. Then as we make our way down into central Utah, 82 in Gunnison, 81 in Richfield, 88 degrees in Green River. Then in southern Utah, 71 in Monticello, 80 degrees in Escalante, 70 degrees in Bryce Canyon, 77 in Enterprise, and a daytime high of 90 in St. George. We'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, but in some of the northern spots of our area, including northeastern in Utah. A few isolated in showers and thunderstorms can't be completely ruled out today as a few sh little bit of moisture tries to work its way over the ridge of high pressure. But for the most part, the chance of any wet weather today and really over the next couple of days looks pretty low. Let's go ahead and time things out for you on the long range future cast here. So high pressure over the next couple of days will start to gradually move out of the way. Again, maybe a few spotty showers in the northernmost and northeastern half of our area. But as we see that low pressure moving down to our southwest and that high pressure continues to move away, temperatures ease down slightly with a little bit more cloud coverage for our Tuesday and Wednesday. But by Wednesday into Thursday, that's when that low Pressure finally gets some momentum, works its way in our direction. A decent chance for showers across the state on Thursday. And then by Friday, a cold front will work its way through, and we'll see those temperatures drop closer to where they should be for this time of year. As for St. George, we'll go from around 90 degrees today to the low and mid 80s for our Tuesday and Wednesday, bringing in that chance for showers and even a few thunderstorms on Thursday. Much cooler air arriving down in St. George, but temperatures will start to rebound going into this upcoming weekend. Looks mostly dry and looks rather pleasant down in St. George for your Saturday and Sunday. Then along the Wasatch Front, mid to upper 80s for today. Then it's generally low 80s for our Tuesday and Wednesday. A little bit more cloud coverage. Overnight lows continue in the 50s. Then we bring in that good chance for wet weather by the time we get into the second half of Thursday into our Friday. And by Friday and Saturday, temperatures will be very close to where they should be for this time of year before we're close to 70 degrees on Sunday, holding on to at least a slight chance as we round out the weekend. Now let's go ahead and switch gears, checking on traffic. Sarah, how are we looking out there this morning? in some areas, different story in others. Here's our main areas to watch on the roads here in northern Utah. So far as we're starting out this Monday morning and our work week, the first is going to be up further north over in Weber County. Right now we're looking at areas of flooding concern over as you're heading into Ogden Canyon, both west and eastbound. Again, right now, no road closures at the moment, but again, just the kind of weather you're going to want to make sure you give yourself an extra few minutes to slow down and drive safe in the area. Heading back as we check into Utah County, we're still 
still tracking this crash over on I-15 northbound. This is near East Summit Ridge Parkway, just a few miles south from Santa Quinn. It is blocking that right shoulder, but so far no big delays expected to be cleared around 630 or so. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Checking in on other potential areas of congestion for our morning commuter traffic. Here's a live look. This is I-15 point in the mountain. You can see some more headlights and taillights coming down on the freeway, but so far no big delays and no big traffic. Your drive times across the board still looking pretty clear. Provo to Salt Lake, you're looking on time both directions you just saw in that camera. Again, things looking pretty clear, moving smoothly. Salt Lake to Tooele, give yourself an extra minute or two. Typically it's 39 minutes. Right now you're looking at 41 minutes there and 31 minutes back. Drive safely. Brian and Jillian.